Hi everybody, welcome to Prison Architect. Man, it's been a while. I haven't played this game in quite some time, actually. I think the last time I played it was when it went into full release. It was out of early access and into full release. Uh, I played like the campaign for a bit or whatever. Anyway, I've developed a hankering recently to play this game again, and here we are, playing this game again. Oh man, God, I love fucking Prison Architect, so good. Uh, Alright, we're gonna create a new prison, okay? Uh, we're gonna create a new prison. It's going to be a large one. Yes. Okay, we're definitely gonna make a large prison. We're gonna leave Fog of War on, yeah. We're not gonna generate forests because they're annoying. Uh, I don't think we really need lakes either. We don't want any buildings to be generated. Uh, we do want failure conditions though. An extra challenge, you will be sacked, and it will be game over if you let things get too bad. Riots, bankruptcy, too many deaths or escapes, etc. Failure conditions means that um, we then turn into a prisoner and have to live in our own prison. Uh, I guess that's like incentive to make the prison really nice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, do we want gangs? Mm, some prisoners will arrive with gang allegiances and will attack rival gang members on site. <laughs> extra challenge. I mean, I like the idea of gangs. In practice, do I like gangs? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's like an extra challenge though, right? Fine. Gangs. Okay. Events. Causes events to occur during the game to keep you on your toes. Adds extra challenge and an element of unpredictability. That could be fun. Uh, do we want to couple that with gangs? Weather. Adds changing weather to your prison? Hell yes. I think we definitely want some weather. Uh, for sure. It was a dark and stormy night, and two gangs <laughs> in jail together uh, started having a fight out in the courtyard. Yeah, I think we'll have weather. Okay, let's leave events, but let's put... Okay, you know what? Fuck gangs. <laughs> okay, we're going to leave gangs on, but we're going to put events on. And we'll see if we can recover from some of these events. And then maybe if we play again after, we'll put gangs on instead. Alright, do you want the normal warden? Uh, we can have Total Biscuit as a warden, I guess. I mean, it does look a little bit like Total Biscuit, doesn't it? Uh, the Lobbyist uh, is what his name is. Uh, it has the likelihood of receiving prisoners who are violent, lethal, volatile, deadly, or fighters. We want all of those guys in our prison. Like, it's going to be great. We also have Rita, who is uh, going to have the likelihood of prisoners being st stoical or fearless. And prisoners are suppressed twice as quickly. That's pretty good. Uh, we also have um, this, like, crazy-ass fucking colonel who has an eye patch. Guard dogs have a 50% chance of fully uncovering any tunnels they detect. That's a good thing. We have the pacifier reduces the overall temperature of your prison, making your inmates less likely to cause trouble. This is pretty good. This guy is so boring. Everybody is just, like, really dopey and sleepy in the prison. Um, so that might be good. And, of course, we also have... Uh, Safara Aknova, who's, I guess, Russian, gets a small cut of the resale value of each piece of contraband found. <laughs> Crazy. And prisoners found with contraband will be fined directly from their savings. That's quite nice. I mean, I'm tempted to just take the warden, but I actually kind of like this the look of this guy. Like, he's really boring. And keeping the inmates temperature down, I think, is pretty good. The pacifier is an unusual talent for being able to calm even the most violent individuals. Even being in the same room as him is enough to make people docile and compliant. Because he's boring. I don't know, though. Is that kind of cheating? Like, there doesn't seem to be any, like, downside to that. So maybe we should just go for the Warden. Who is actually the Monopoly guy who's just put on a tremendous amount of weight over the years. Probably from just, like, visiting Park Place way too many times. Anyway, fine. Uh, we are going to be a male prisoner as well. We could be female if we want to. We've got, like, a nice uh, red dress... Um, and, um, you know, nice hairdo as well. But the male also has cool jumpsuit and a nice hairdo. So let's stick with male. Large prison. We're ready to rock and roll. Oh, man. This is my favorite part of the prison architect. You just get in. Look at the size of this map. It's enormous. And we have the garbage and the delivery section already for us. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump into reports. Actually, first things first, we're going to delete the CEO's letter because nobody cares about what the CEO has to say. And we're just going to run this thing uh, how we see fit. Prisoner intake, we're going to probably want to turn this off. This is all new since the last time I played. Like, we can say fill capacity, which is pretty good. Uh, 
let's start with a whole bunch of medium sec guys, okay? So we don't want min sec, we don't want any max sec for now. No, screw it. Oh yes, no, okay, fine. We will go medium sec, okay? Because they give us 500 bucks uh, per prisoner, which is pretty good. Uh, let's flick this to fill capacity so that we don't have any prisoners turning up today, because that would be crazy. Uh, we're not ready for them. And let's go into grants and get our basic detention center grant, which uh, gives us a upfront payment of 20,000 big ones, which we'll use. And uh, we'll go for administration center as well, um, because we need the warden and the accountant on site to help us, right? Oh, yeah. All right. So, uh, we're going to plant this uh, mother out. How are we going to do this? We're going to make a front entrance here. I like making a front entrance here, okay? I like look using the deliveries and the garbage area that's already here. And I like to make a big grand front entrance. This one is going to be kind of big. Because what we're going to do is we're going to set up a reception. It's like a new room that I've never used before. We're going to have a nice reception, okay? And then off to the side of the reception so they come in the front door here we'll have some nice seating and like a pop machine and stuff a desk uh we'll have a reception then we'll have like a double jail door okay and that's going to take you into like this like airlock okay gonna go into an airlock because you need an airlock you need a whole bunch of airlocks in a prison right go into an airlock where there's going to be another double door okay and then off to the side here off to the side of the reception we'll have a staff door okay and this will lead down a corridor here, which will lead to like a bunch of like utilities and stuff, right? Because we're going to need power in here. We'll put the power in here, I guess. Uh, and we want this to sort of line up with here, I guess. Okay, power can go in there. You know what? Power and water can go in the same. That's a huge no-no because, you know, water and electricity do not mix. But at the same time... We want to save on building materials, right? So we're going to put the power and the water in the same thing. And then further down the hall, I like big halls too, okay? I like big halls about as much as I like big butts. And I'm not going to lie about either one of them. Big halls and big butts, I'm all for. Excellent. We're going to have a storage room down here too. Because uh, it's important to store all of the junk um, that we sort of chop and change and decide that we don't need later dates and stuff. So we're going to have a storage room. And then... Uh, we're gonna have the end of the hallway uh, But that might extend down into like the administration wing or should we just have the administration wing come down here instead? That might be a good idea. Look this way for administration this way for Storage and utilities and stuff reception desk and then you have to go through the airlock to get into the prison proper. I Like that. I think that'll work just about. Okay, perfect. So they come in through the airlock and then immediately we want them to go into like a hallway. A little bit of a hallway, okay? And then down the hallway here, we're gonna have uh, some stuff. We're gonna separate this out. This will be like this crappy little maintenance access area because we need like lots of little alleyways and stuff for our workers to go out and have a smoke. It's always very important. We need to make sure that our employees are smoking as much as they possibly can. So it would not be a prison without smoke breaks. Am I right? I'm probably right about that. All right, so uh, they go down the hallway, and then we're going to have another door here and another door here. We need to make this as secure as possible, right? We don't want any of these dopes getting out of here. Like, they're in here for a reason. We don't want them to go back out into the public domain and cause trouble, because that would be terrible. We're going to have a holding cell in here, I think, and it's going to have a double jail door. And it's going to be sizable, but not too big. There. That's a pretty good holding cell. So, when they arrive, they sit in the reception. Um, they're, uh, like, processed through central booking. And then they're brought into here, into the holding cell. And then they await um, their destiny. And, of course, their destiny is to um, become inmates in this awesome prison. Okay. And like I said, this is going to be the admin wing too, right? I mean, I don't know. Are we, like, biting off more than we can chew? I know this looks like a total mess right now, but trust me. It's going to come together real quick. It's going to be great. Uh, all right. We need a warden's office for sure. So it's got to be one, two, three, four, five. You know what? We'll make the warden's office, like, really big and plush, okay? We'll even, like, leave him, like, a little patio area and stuff. It'll be really nice. Uh, and then 
alongside here, uh, he needs to have his sidekick, the accountant, who's going to sort of cook the books and stuff. Is that right? It's four by four. Yeah, that's right. Okay. It's going to be a smaller office. The warden's going to have the big plush office. The accountant's going to have, like, the really boring office. And I think we'll just cap it the hallway there. We've got room for expansion, right? So it'll be fine. All right. So once they're in um, the holding cell, we then want them to be able to go off into our first cell block, right? Which will be this way. And then down here, we'll have some other stuff, like maybe, like, the psychologist and... Um, like possibly, I don't even think the canteen or anything. We'll cap off that hallway for now because we don't really need it straight away, okay? So this hallway, they can go in, get into like the prison proper if you like. And then we'll have like another hallway that leads down here and it'll connect up to probably like the first big cell block. And we'll have some cells in here like this. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going to plan it all out meticulously. You know what? These are too big. Already. We need to save space, right? It's crunch time. We've got to make sure that we're making the, the best possible use of space. Uh, and we're just going to start off, like, small-ish, I think, to begin with. We don't need too many cells. But we can have it sort of, like, wrap around here and make, like, as... Do we want really small cells? I mean, these guys are what? Medium security? Yeah, I think we do. We're going to pack them in like sardines to begin with. And then um, we'll see what happens after that. Okay. So there's the cell there. We can have another cell here. And this will sort of make a little hallway. A two, a two sort of unit hallway, I guess. You call it that. And then that should open up a couple more cells here so like these guys could talk to like all of these people in here right like we put some windows and then they'd be like we could have like razor ramon for instance occupying this cell and he'd be able to talk to like all of the fresh meat inside the holding pen how funny would that be i'm gonna say it's probably gonna be pretty funny all right so this will be like our first cell block has uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve cells I think we need 15. I think we have to have prisoner capacity of 15 uh, to get like that first grant. So let's try to do that. We'll try to bear that in mind and uh, work around it. So that might mean making this a little bit bigger. So that'll be like a little hallway going into there. And that means that we can then have this hallway here and three. I have to go up one. Okay. We're going to need some solitary too, right? So we might be able to jam a couple of like solitary units uh, at the back here. We'll have at least one here. That'll be like our first solitary confinement. I think we're going to need at least two solitary cells to begin with, right? For this, th for this amount of people. So we have what? 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15. Somebody can have like the, the big end one and then we can have like a solitary cell or these can just be normal cells it doesn't really matter okay so that's our first little cell block um we'll have a door here this little hallway will lead into something or other uh and then these guys can have like their own yard off the side here so they can just go out there and they can get their exercise on in a major way and do what they need to do and then this hallway will lead down into like a big central sort of canteen and a kitchen area, right? I think so, yes. Okay, let's start building some stuff because already we're getting a little bit carried away here and we could really do with building some stuff. Do we want to make concrete or do we want to make brick? I'm happy enough with brick. I think I'm going to go with brick. Okay, let us drag out uh, these foundations like so. We also want foundations here too. We're going to want some foundations like here and here and also here. This is like all indoors, right? So it's like all the crap that we need. How much money are we spending here? Probably a lot. Perfect. Okay. We also want to get some fences, right? For the yard. Yeah. We're going to have some fences around here for the yard. And then once these guys are in and housed and stuff... We'll, uh, we'll start chopping and changing stuff around that we need to or whatever. But, like, the first, like, intake of prisoners will get us some money. We'll get, like, established and stuff. And then we can carry on planning the 
prison and you know what would be really cool this time around actually is having an electric chair I, like i've played this game many many times i don't think i've ever executed anyone i would love to execute someone not in real life and not like in a criminal way either like, i'm talking just like traditional bog standard let's get the electric chair you know read them their like their final rights give them a smoke and like their last meal or whatever could choose between like a Domino's stuffed crust or like I don't know maybe a Pizza Hut stuffed crust depending on which way they they go and then fry them up in the electric chair and uh, everybody will have this like false sense of justice because actually watching somebody fry in a chair just traumatizes you it doesn't make you feel better crimes that they commit well I say that I've never had any experience in that realm, so I don't know. Maybe I'm talking out of my butt. I mean, if you've ever watched somebody get the electric chair because they've done you or your family like an injustice or whatever, you'll have to tell me how that feels. But I'm going to just assume that it probably traumatized you because, I don't know. I think, like, lethal injection is the way to go now, right? Like, I don't even think... Does Do any states use the chair? I say states because I'm pretty sure that America is still one of the only countries in the world that has the death penalty in some areas or whatever. Again, I could be wrong about that. Holy crap, this has come together really well. All right, we need to consult the plan and see where the actual doors are going to go because I can't remember. All right, so the front entrance is like here. So we're definitely going to want a jail door. That entrance needs to be really secure. So we're going to have a jail door. We're not just going to have a normal door. I mean, it's not a place for people to just drop in um, and say hi, is it? It's like a secured government facility. Um, and that's completed uh, almost all of it. Come on. You can do it. I believe. Oh, man. Oh, shit. I left auto lights on. Oh, my God. That grinds my gears so hard. Look, they're installing all the lights, too. There's no way to stop them. Okay, we got a little bit of work taking the lights out. That's fine. Anyway, let's get some walls up. We'll start with, like, the utility section. We'll get some walls up here. And we'll, like, kit out the reception and stuff. Make it look real nice, like, get the utilities and everything set up. And then uh, we can just sort of work from there. Because we're going to need some power and some water in this bitch, right? That's right. <laughs> Excellent. All right, we definitely want to dismantle these lights. Some of them are just going to get dismantled by the walls anyway. Let's get rid of this light and this light. Let's not have this light. These lights, please don't install them. And please let us remove these lights as well. Okay, we should be okay for lights and stuff now. Uh, we're also going to want to add some more brick walls here, 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 and here. So they might as well get on that straight away. And we're looking good so far. So far, so good. Oh, crap, there's a light there as well. Let me just get rid of this light quickly. Fantastic. All right, utilities it is then. Uh, we want a power station for sure, uh, which will be like right here. And we're going to want a water pump station here too. I think we're going to put the water pump station here. And uh, we could maybe fit a boiler next to it. These water boilers are pretty cool, actually. They're new. They have they weren't in uh, the last time I played. Um, but, I mean, I've played since, and I've messed around with them or whatever. You can have cold and hot water now. And uh, if you have weather in your prison, it gets cold. See? Like, right now, it's 9 degrees Celsius. So we're going to need some heating up in here. Because the prisoners will get cold, uh, and they'll start to cry and complain about it. And that's not something that we want at all. All right, let's hook up the water. Let's get like a couple of capacitors uh, installed as well so that we have some extra power capacity. And let's get some lights installed too. I right, need some lights like inside this maintenance room. There's a light here, I think. Has that been installed? Man, that annoys me. Like what's it doing there? I can't even get rid of it. What the hell? Anyway, uh, we'll get some lights out in the hallway here too. We'll have one here and then like one up here too. And then we're going to need at least a light in the storage room, right? We could probably designate this as storage. So we don't want all of our cool stuff just outside, right? We'll have a staff door on here. And let's have a staff door here. And you know what? We'll have a staff door here too. I mean, even if the prisoners do manage to stage a huge revolt and have a riot and get into here. 
It doesn't matter. There's nowhere else for them to go. They'll have to tunnel out or whatever. And then we can just send the riot cops and the tear gas in and everything. We can sort that situation out. Lickety split. All right, let's run some power then. We'll run some power like into the prison proper uh, and then down into the admin wing as well. Oh, the war. What is so far kind of the admin wing? Uh, let's get rid of these crappy lights because we'll place some uh, better lights. And let's get the admin wing up and running. Because that's like at least one grant done. And then we can get the warden in and he can start researching all of the cool shit that he needs to research. Look at this. They're bringing the whole spool. We got like a whole bunch of crates filled with pipes and stuff too. These workers are great. Actually, that reminds me. We could probably do with like, what, two more? There, we've just hired two more workers. Wonderful. Oh, oh, look at this. The power cables have extended into this like first little cell block. I guess, I guess it's okay that we have the holding cell here because this hallway will extend down and attach to like some other stuff or whatever. Um, and this will probably extend down too. We'll have like wings, right? Um, we'll have like an admin wing here with all the admin. We'll have a couple cell blocks here. We've got a yard here now as well. Uh, so holding cell, we need shower, a yard, kitchen, canteen, two guards and two cooks. That's just for basic detention center. And then for administration center, which we can probably do like right now, we just need two offices, a warden. Uh, we got to unlock finance and then we got to hire an accountant. No problem. All right, let's get some normal doors here, but we'll get a staff door here because these guys are considered staff, but they don't need staff doors on their actual offices because that's just a bit weird. Uh, let's get the electrics down here. Perfect. Uh, they're going to need some heating in here too, so we're probably going to have to get this water boiler up and running. Uh, let's put the water boiler somewhere uh, really awesome, like outside. You know, like see these little like alleys that I've created and stuff? It's a good spot for a water boiler, isn't it? Oftentimes you would look outside into an alley in a prison and see a water boiler, right? This is where all the drug deals and stuff happen too, if the prisoners can manage to get out here. So that's cool. Uh, we'll do that. We'll have to hook this up with some electricity, which we'll do. And we're going to need to hook it up with some water. Uh, we haven't actually ran any pipes anywhere yet. So let's run some pipes. Run some like major pipes here. Uh, and then we should be good to get some radiators installed in the warden's office and also in the accountant's office. And that means we can also have a radiator in the reception. Hey, these radiators are cool, aren't they? <laughs> They're really neat. I really like them. All right. We need to hook up some hot water pipes to the radiators. Uh, and we're going to need to hook up a small pipe here to get the cold water in. Heat it up and then send the hot water out to the places it needs to go. Like here, here, and here. Nice, eh? Cool. All right, so uh, we'll be able to actually look at uh, this stuff once we get, I think it's logistics. We get prison labor and then we can actually see how hot it is in the rooms and stuff and it gives you like a bit of a better view. We'll do that after. All right. The warden definitely needs a light in the center of his office, and the accountant will need a light, like, kind of in the center of her office, but because it's an awkward shape, it's not quite in the center. All right. Uh, the warden will also need a bunch of crap in his office, such as a pool table, <laughs> maybe like a sofa, a wide sofa. That would be nice. He's already got a radiator, which is like heating it up, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's make this an office. And then it should just give us the stuff that we can put into an office, right? Such as like a wheelie bin and other things like that. Okay, so he's got like a big desk that's going to go... Oh, man. I should have made this like one bigger because then it could have been... A... Well, no, it never would be central, actually. Okay, we'll do this. We'll put his desk there, okay? And then he's going to have his chair here. So that when people come in to visit him, he's like in this like Mr. Burns type scenario right where it's just like his desk is facing the door and he's got the trap door button and all that kind of stuff i think that'd be pretty cool uh what else is the warden gonna need in his office he's gonna need probably his own toilet i mean we could give him his own toilet it's not like it's not a bad idea we can make staff toilets down here though 
Maybe, uh, maybe he should use staff toilets, actually. Okay, let's give him a wide sofa, just in case people are visiting or whatever. Or he has to have, like, a powwow with, like, his top lieutenants and stuff. And you know what? We'll give him a radio, too. So that he can listen to some tunes while he's unlocking, like, all of the cool stuff that's happening. And let us give him really fancy tiles in his office, too. Okay? So that there's no mistaking this is definitely the warden's office and here he is look he's in the office now and we got polaroid picture here of the warden nice sitting in his office it's like really fancy look it's got the fancy tiles and everything i like that it's a nice touch really like the polaroids all right warden get to work you big asshole look we need some finance and we need it now perfect he is busy beavering away on finance all right, the finance office, uh, we will just have probably some sand, grass. No, we better not. Should we give like a mosaic floor or a wooden floor? You know what? Going for the wood floor. Um, and we're going to need some stuff like a desk, probably a couple of filing cabinets. I mean, this is the finance office, right? So we're going to need like tons of, of filing cabinets. Perfect. Uh, we'll have like a chair in here for her to sit on to she can sit like in the corner here And then let's have just like another like filing cabinet. We have to store all of the important legal documents, right? And there's not really any room for another filing cabinet. I think that she should also have a radio too And maybe a window actually the warden definitely needs a window so he can escape uh, when things really hit the fan um, You know like just jump out of the window just, he doesn't want to deal with it anymore, so he's just going to jump out the window. I think that that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, let's give her a radio, too. Perfect. And once she's researched, she can start working on uh, unlocking, like, finance and stuff, too. Holy crap. So far, so good. It's coming along. Look at this storage office uh, or room, sorry. It's just, like, absolutely packed full of boxes lights in them oh i like that look there's a little like a little label on the box that said that it's filled with lights okay cool uh we're gonna need to use some of those lights because uh we need to install some halogens in the ceiling of the reception it need the reception area needs to be well lit right because this is the first thing that people see when they come in here we want them to know that there's no messing around in the reception area like this this is a serious place for serious criminals to be held and we want the reception area to reflect that here we go when your prisoners are first taken when they arrive okay so we need an office desk a table and a chair in the reception nice i like that i've never built a reception in this game before i'm really enjoying it so far all right so we need an office desk so this will be uh where a guard sits i guess we need a chair and apparently we need a table as well Oh, I see. Yeah. So when they come in, they have to like put all of their stuff onto this table. So maybe if we put the table like, oh, actually it would have been better to put it there, right? Because then the prisoner comes in, has to like put his underpants and stuff on there and like uh, his guns and all the other stuff that they come into jail with. Okay, let's dismantle this and let's dismantle this as well and get it in the right place, shall we? We'll put it like one up. So the prisoners come in, they dump their keys and their personal belongings and stuff on the table. It gets processed or whatever, and then uh, we take them through to the holding cell, which is not yet built, uh, but will be soon. Do we have, like, any plants or anything that we can put out here? Like, that would be good. Or just, like, some garbage cans? How about just a row of garbage cans? That might be nice. And we're going to need a large jail door here and here as well to go through. Got the radiator, so it should be nice and hot. And you know what? Let's get a whole bunch of chairs. Because it is a it is a reception, right? You know, people might come in here. We need, like, some magazines and uh, possibly, like, a TV and stuff in here, too. Put a TV in here. Because, you know, it's not just prisoners that are going to come through here, right? Like, there could be important people, like shareholders or, like, uh, people from the board of directors of the prison. Uh, and if they're waiting to see the warden, they can sit out here and read men's health magazines and, like, uh, learn about sailing or wearing Ray-Bans and that kind of shit, right? Before they come in and they talk to this guy. I think we're pretty close here. Uh, are we? 
yeah. Finance is almost unlocked, thankfully. And then once it is unlocked, we get that grant. Uh, we'll get 5,000 bucks, and uh, we'll use that 5,000 bucks to build out the rest of um, this, like, first part of our new prison, which is so far uh, just a medium security prison. Um, but we'll expand later so that it's like a maximum security as well. We'll have like a big maximum security wing. We got plenty of space to work with here. So far, so good. The uh, warden's office is looking pretty nice, and the accountant's office is looking pretty good too. Not as nice as the warden's office, and I think that's right. Because the warden is like the big cheese, right? Uh, the finance person is really important, but not the big cheese. So she shouldn't have like a plush office or one that's more plush than say the warden's office, I would think. But you never know. Is that done? I thought it was done. No, it's just 23. We just got 23 bucks. Of course, look, 86%. What the hell is taking so long, warden? Jeez, you can actually sack the warden. I've never done that either. Uh, while we're waiting, let us get some, do we want a ceramic floor? I feel like, yeah. Or do we want white tiles? I think white tiles might look good, but ceramic floor would look good to you out here in the reception. Let it, let it be done. We're going to do it. We're going to put some ceramic tiles, and you know what? We're going to put ceramic tiles all up and down this hallway as well. Because that looks good. Uh, that's looking really good, actually. Okay. Ceramic tiles down here, too. Uh, we've spent a lot of money on ceramic floors today. But honestly, I think it's worth it. I think it's going to be... Something that's gonna wow the guests when they do come to the prison. Look, we're gonna get some outside lights here, too And I think we're even going to go for concrete tiles Because we're gonna have a nice pathway here that leads into the prison and we're gonna flank it with some grass we'll Put some grass under here, too. And you know what a little bit of grass here, too. That wouldn't hurt Anything. Oh, that looks pretty good. Look at that. It looks really good. All right finance is unlocked Let's get Toots in here. Here you go. <laughs> Welcome to the prison. Oh yeah, whoops. I didn't make this an office. She doesn't actually have this office. There she goes. There. Okay, now it's a fully fledged office with an accountant who is doing stuff and the warden who's also doing stuff. I don't think we really need to research anything just yet. We'll figure out what grant we're gonna get next um, and we'll carry on working on the basic detention center Next time. Great. Oh, man. It's good to be back in Prison Architect. I fucking love this game. Uh, it's a real joy to be playing it again, too. So um, we'll build this prison up, and we'll uh, try to execute somebody. That'll be, like, the goal. Um, and um, see what happens along the way. Should be fun. Excellent. All right. Well, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.